When it comes to Japan, many people might think of a world-leading creator of advanced high-tech equipment. However, the country of the rising sun is famous for agricultural, fishery, and food products, which are being promoted to export to many countries, including Vietnam. Japan has been working hard over the years to increase export of agricultural, fishery, and food products. As a result of such efforts, the export volumes in 2021 increased twice as big as those in 2012. The volumes reached 1 trillion yen in 2021. Japan has launched a platform to support food and agroforestry fishery exports to Vietnam, promoting trade and connecting businesses from the two countries. Japan uh, set out uh, the target of uh, reaching 2 trillion uh, yen in year 2025 and 5 trillion yen 2030. Uh, in order to achieve Uh, that target, the uh, Japanese government uh, set forth uh, the the export uh, expansion strategy for agriculture, fishery, and food product. And uh, as you mentioned, we launched export platform for the agriculture uh, promotion product promotion in Ho Chi Minh City last August. Platform we launched in Ho Chi Minh City is eighth platform. Uh, which our government establish overseas, because uh, Vietnam's market is, uh, I say, very promising market. You know now Vietnam is uh, number one uh, ASEAN, a um, uh, number one market among ASEAN countries in terms of uh, the uh, importing Japanese agricultural, fishery, and uh, food product, and also the number five. Uh, uh, Market all over the world. Looking at exporting volumes of agricultural, fishery, and food products to Vietnam, according to the reported trade figures, the total volumes reach 50.3 billion yen from January through September of 2022. The volumes of 2021 were 58.5 billion yen, which was the highest value so far. The whole year of 2022 volumes may exceed those of 2021 and may reach the record high volumes. Thus, export volumes of Japanese agricultural, fishery, and food products to Vietnam have been continuously growing thanks to the country's rapid economic growth. At the beginning of this January, Vietnamese longan from Long An Province was exported to Japan. This is the fourth Vietnamese fruit item exported to Japan, following dragon fruits, mangoes, and lychee. Vietnamese dragon fruits is said to be occupying around 80% of Japanese market shares, which is remarkable. In addition to Vietnamese fruits, Vietnamese rice is also being imported to Japan. Last September, Vietnamese high-quality rice called ST25 was exported to Japan, and there was news that ST25 was served as one of the lunch menu at one of the Japanese central government offices' restaurants. Also in the area of fishery, there are large demands for Vietnamese shrimp processed products in Japan fishery markets. Vietnamese shrimp products are said to be known for having strong competitiveness comparing to other major exporting countries' products. Many local businesses see entering Japan's high standards market as a challenge. So the question is how to increase Vietnamese products export to Japanese markets and exploring the ways of gaining confidence of Japanese consumers to Vietnamese products. It is necessary to duly follow the Japanese importing procedure and process, such as animal and food quarantine. And regarding uh, product itself, effective and thorough quality control uh, the, at each of uh, the uh, production process, start from uh, producing till the exporting process phases. Uh, the very much essential and very much needed to be ensured. So in this regard, uh, obtaining GAP, GAP, a good agricultural practice certificate uh, would be very uh, useful for proving the Vietnamese product high quality. Under the extensive strategic partnership, Japan and Vietnam have been cooperating in quite extensive areas such as politics, economy, security, people-to-people -people exchanges. Japan has been and is still the largest ODA donor to Vietnam and has been assisting the country's nation building since 1990s. 
Both countries' leaders have agreed at last November's summit meeting in Cambodia to revitalize Japan's ODA to Vietnam. We also needed to know that the uh, our both country leader agreed last year uh, to strengthen our uh, cooperation in various areas, uh, such as uh, the diversifying uh, the supply chains, so such as. Uh, digital transformation, DX, and technology innovation, assistance in energy transition toward decarbonization, assistance in improving capacity building for disaster prevention and control, and assistance in capacity building in the field of cyber security, and then the assistance in capacity building for the uh, maritime police activity. Japan has been working together with Ho Chi Minh City by assisting the city's development of various basic infrastructures such as Tou Tim Tunnel and the Metro Line No. 1 projects, currently the Yao Rai Vietnam Japan Friendship Hospital Development Project and the Ho Chi Minh City Sewerage System Improvement Project are going on as Japan's ODA. The early completion of uh, the Metro Line No. 1 uh, is uh, for us, both uh, Japan and Ho Chi Minh City, the First and foremost important, and we both committed to the prompt completion of the construction of this metro line number one. And as you rightly mentioned, and uh, several times, this year marks the 50th anniversary. Uh, this is a year of epoch making for both countries. So the Completion of uh, the metro line construction in the course of this 50th anniversary uh, is uh, of great importance and means a lot for both countries. Tourism is one of the Vietnam-Japan partnership's productive sectors with the considerable two-way passenger flows and the unique culture of tourism that two countries have experienced. We have a good reason to believe that uh, uh, there should be an uh, uh, increase of uh, the flow of people uh, between our two countries in this year because of the uh, 50th anniversary. On the government front, uh, JMTO, Japanese Government uh, Tourist Organization. They launched on the occasion of the 50th anniversary uh, the tourism campaign targeting uh, the uh, overseas tourists, including Vietnam. Uh, the campaign called uh, Discover Japan, Start Passion. That is the title of the uh, campaign. So I Call upon the, all the leader of this Saigon uh, Times magazine or online the uh, uh, listener to visit and look at the homepage of uh, JMTO uh, to get to know uh, get to know the more about the beauty and the charms of Japanese local. Cities. In 2023, the two nations approached the 50th anniversary of diplomatic relations. There's unwavering confidence between Vietnamese and Japanese that has been established through the last 50 years' efforts in each different level, from governments to localities, private sectors, and individual group. Now, our country uh, uh, celebrated the 50th anniversary this year. This year is a year to look back and to celebrate our past 50 years past and uh, achievement. But at the same time, this is the year to look to the future. And uh, uh, we certainly need to draw that chart for the, our next 50 years uh, in order to bring our bilateral relations to the higher level. Our excellent uh, bilateral relations, including uh, our relation with Ho Chi Minh City, cannot develop and grow on their own in the future without our continued effort. So the, it is essentially important for us to commit ourselves to continue to maintain our relations and to bring our relations to the higher level.